Despite our best intentions, projects don't always go to plan. Our revenue may be lower because the price of our product is lower than expected, or maybe our costs are higher than hoped due to unforeseen maintenance. If project revenue is lower or project costs are higher than planned, CADs will be lower, meaning we may not be able to pay our debt service. We can't always get forecasts right, so we need to have some protection in place for when things don't go as planned. Let's use an example to investigate this further. Say we have a project that is expected to generate revenue of $20 million per annum. In year one, we earn $20 million of revenue, exactly as planned. But in year two, we only get $16 million. That's $4 million less than planned. This may be a fundamental problem with our project, but it could also just be a short-term challenge. In year three, we earn $24 million of revenue. So the average between year two and three is 20 million, still what we planned. It looks like maybe this was just a timing issue. And in year three, we recovered the lost revenue from year two. Our costs in this example are 8 million every year. And CADs will be revenue less our costs. So if things had gone to plan, CADs would have been 12 million per year, i.e. 20 million of revenue less the 8 million of costs. Our debt service was initially sculpted to a 1.33 DSCR based on CADs of 12 million. So it should be 12 million divided by 1.33, which is $9 million per annum. So in year one, when things actually went to plan, our DSCR was 1.33. But in year two, CADs was way down from 12 million to 8 million. And our debt service is 9 million. Our DSCR is 0 0.89. We don't even have enough money to pay our debt service. We're in default. In year three, our DSCR has gone up to 1.77 as we now have 16 million of CAD and only 9 million of debt service. But we still have a problem. We go into default in year two, even though we bounce back in year three. Our average DSCR is 36 million divided by 27 million, the total CADs over the total debt service, that equals 1.33. Because our average is okay, does that mean the project is fine? Well, no. In this case, a short-term cash flow problem has caused our project to go into default. Equity could lose everything, and the banks may have to step into the project. This isn't a good situation for anyone. We could potentially have avoided default by using a debt service reserve account, or a DSRA. So what is a DSRA? Well, it's a cash account that retains money for when CADS is too low to service our debt. It will help in this current example to avoid default. However, if you had a major project failure, let's say your project was out of service a whole year, it would not help in that situation. You'll see why shortly. The account is really cash security for the lender. So the lenders want to monitor the amount within. Given it's a cash account, the question is how much cash is actually required in the account? This is called a target balance. Now, the DSR is a relatively complex part of a project finance model. So before calculating the target balance, we should understand all four elements to it. We will review the calculations for all four of these elements later, but for now, let's focus on the overall layout of the DSRA calculations. So what are the four components? Number one, we need to calculate our DSRA target balance. Number two, if the DSRA balance is below the target balance, we fund it from any cash available. Number three, if there isn't enough cash to pay our debt service, our DSRA will release money to pay it. That is the core purpose of the DSRA. Number four, if the DSRA balance is greater than the target balance, the extra money in the DSRA account may be released into the waterfall. Now, from a best practice standpoint, we need to record a volume of cash over time so we build a control account. Finally, lenders will want to check that the DSRA is in compliance with any agreements, so we need to add some checks. Now, we understand the main elements of the calculations. We can move into the next module and learn how to calculate the target balance.